Hi guys, today I would like to explain you about uh, insecure direct object reference vulnerability in web applications. So today my agenda is, uh, first of all I will explain you what is insecure direct object reference also called as IDOR and the second thing I will explain this vulnerability in uh, developer mode by developing the code, uh, insecure code and the third one I will try to explain you in attacker mode how we can uh, exploit this vulnerability to get uh, unauthorized data access and the fourth thing I would like to uh, develop uh, a fix for it in the code base level so uh, let us quickly see what is uh, insecure direct object reference so let me explain you this vulnerability with one good example uh, suppose if you are studying in a college uh, uh, you will be assigned with your ID uh, like N110464 so that is the ID for you so uh, and uh, this ID will refer to your identity so here uh, your identity will be the object and your ID will be your reference to that object so an in, uh, insecure direct object reference Suppose if I am uh, taking the reference of another user or another college member ID, uh, I am trying to manipulate my N110464 with N110465, then I can get uh, his uh, identity object. Uh, in similar fashion, uh, in web applications, we have multiple users or multiple files. Suppose the user, uh, the first uh, user who is called as Raju uh, his name email uh, and address is his object this object is being referenced by uh, the user ID uh, which is also called uh, 401 so if you can enter his ID you can get his object but what if if you are uh, entering 402 person ID if you are getting to see his uh, object like his name his email and his address so it is a not a uh, good practice or the not a good secure coding because your uh, uh, the end user is able to see another users data similarly in files also suppose the file uh, only one person has to see but uh, suppose if he is seeing another uh, person's private files then also it is a not a valid operation so it is uh, a vulnerability so that is about uh, insecure direct object reference i'll explain you with the example by developing the code then you can able to understand it uh, more clearly uh, let us go through our developer mode see here uh, these are the my past code that i ex developed and explained you and it was running on double seven double seven so let me add one more route to it to show you insecure direct object reference uh, i'm developing it app dot get here i'm mentioning my endpoint uh, like user details where i can get uh, request details and i have to pass on response uh, yeah here I'm collecting user ID from the request.query.user ID. Uh, later I will try to search that user ID in uh, my database. Uh, users, there is a collection called users. Um, I am for that I'm finding it out mm, suppose uh, this operation is fails the control will goes to Mongo error if it is success then the control will goes to Mongo result if Mongo error, then I will try to tell the end user that uh, response dot and status 403 I'll tell him you are unauthorized um, else. Uh, 
here instead of telling him unauthorized uh, you can say that uh, response dot send uh, internal server error okay uh, suppose you are taking the user id and you are getting his user details like mongo result uh, then you have to show him with the mongo result i am sending this result directly to the end user mm, ok i am taking the user id i am sending it this is the user details uh, let me also check whether it is the authenticated user or not with this control uh, verify token which is uh, already developed here verify token where it is checking whether he has access token and his access token is uh, generated by our application or not like that uh, so let me see how it will behave let us quickly go through documents YouTube authentication so the backend so let's, uh, let me run this code ok it was running here and it is connected to database so let me access this uh, resource yeah here i have to write one thing Percent. because my user id is within the db is all our integers so if you see within db underscore id it is the user id and it is in integer format so i have to parse it to integer because when i'm accessing this it will be in a string so underscore id is yeah i am setting his data uh, okay i'm giving his uh, results to the end user since i have changed the code let me rerun the code again try to access it first of all i have to be signed in virtual.gmail.com and my password here i'll try to give user details and 401 oh user details user id equal to 401 it's not coming it's not working why manga results is not defined okay okay so i have to pass this thing only there is a typo okay uh, let us again what is happening manga results If there is any error then I have to show them internal server error else I have to give them the response with the details okay let us access it oh I'm entering 401 and I'm getting his details uh, so uh, in the uh, when I'm entering when I'm hitting this endpoint it will take the user ID and uh, when I'm hitting this endpoint sorry first of all it will check uh, verify token it will take the access token and it will check whether he is a authenticated uh, uh, resource or not 
okay whether he has a access token or not within the request so here if you can see yeah here he has the authorization cookie yeah it is being cross-checked whether he is uh, authenticated or not so that one is passed and later it will take the user id and it will find out that user id details and it will show to the end user so this is how i have developed this uh, functionality where you can pass on your user id and later where if, uh, the authentication check will happen and later the corresponding user id uh, details will come up so this is what i have developed as a developer now let uh, let's go to the attacker mode how attacker can uh, attack this application and how he can uh, uh, get another user details i think you already catch that here i'll change the user id from 401 to 402 oh no i am getting 402 details also it is a worst scenario or the worst behavior because he is only authorized to see his uh, details only but uh, the application is uh, showing another user details also so there is a authorization check control is being missed here so whenever user is uh, hitting this endpoint it has application has to check uh, this user is uh, authorized to see this uh, uh, resource or not so that uh, authorization check permission was uh, uh, not written by me so that was the mistake that i have done uh, so uh, attacker will take this as advantage and he can change the user id and he can get other user details so now let's go to our final step how i can add that uh, authorization check to prevent this vulnerability from the code base itself let me re-modify it by adding authorization check uh, let me remove this uh, i'm taking the user id and first of all uh, let me check authentication check and later i will rise right uh, authorization check uh, me simply copy paste this one here i am taking the client token from authorized cookies dot authorization that means from request uh, header cookie i am taking the authorization value and i am cross checking he is authenticated or not uh, if uh, i am unable to uh, decrypt uh, his token with this uh, secret key then uh, uh, he is unauthorized actually because he might tamper that access token see here i am mentioning again this is hard coded key it is a not good practice while developing the code but for a demonstration purpose i am showing you like this in general you have to get this key from the secure vault actually so here i'll verify and i'll get auth data uh, like this and here then hmm, let me modify the code here i'm taking authorization as well as use ready from the request um when i can perform this operation operation here i'm simply placing it So here I have to perform authorization check. Um, so whether that particular access token is authorized to see um, the details of whatever the user ID that it is uh, supplying. So how I can check that from here from auth data? Actually, I'll get, um, get the, the username. The actually, oh, how I can uh, get that? let username is equal to auth data dot username ok 
okay and let perform db dot collection uh, users find one and here what is the key for username username itself uh, from the database so username is equal to let rename it as client username client username I'm supplying it here m error m result mongo error and mongo result if it goes to m error then I will send a response no, send uh, internal server error suppose if it is going to mongo operation error I will tell that if there is a result then what I will do then I will compare uh, what is the what is the id for this username i'll take this id uh, whether this id is equal to whatever the end user is being supplied that means i am cross checking whether that user id is belongs to that user or not so here if i'm entering like this 401 from this I'll take what I will take I will take the underscore ID so here if uh, user ID is double equal to m result dot ID it is the condition that I have yet I think here I have okay passed it so integer integer I'm cross checking let's see what will happen then if the uh, whatever the user is supplied user ID is equal to um, that access token um, which is belongs to um, the but same user ID then I am giving then I will do this thing else suppose if he is entering not his user id if he is entering other another person user id like this they i will tell him response dot send you are not authorized sorry you are not authorized to see this resource because I am cross checking uh, whether he is accessing his resource or he is accessing another resource. Here I have written some authorization check only that particular user's uh, user ID details will be shared to him not another user ID's details. That is the check that I have been performing here. Uh, let me debug it uh, what I have written okay if user ID double equal to D then only I'll give I'll give the uh, this data uh, let's see what actually how it will behave I'm also curious uh, let me rerun the code uh, let me check oh, I'm getting error why 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 I'm getting error Four zero one. cannot read properties of null underscore ID underscore ID Mm, yeah, I'm getting 
let me debug it am i getting am result the details yeah i'm getting connected successfully the database okay now i'm getting why db dot collection dot users of the data dot client user okay at data dot user okay here i have to mention it as user because in at data how it is being reference user the value is user okay that is the mistake uh, let me run it again yeah for for 401 i'm getting okay uh, my details let me try to access another user id details what it is responding 402 again some error i got this one throw new http send set uh, user details 40130 cannot set headers after they are sent to the client collection find one client name console dot that thing console dot m result yeah m result so if user ready user ready double equal to user ready else data collection and user Response that send. Okay, where's response that send? Mango result. So I have to debug this error. Else user ID cannot set headers after they are sent to the client. Error has been response See here, uh, when I'm trying to hit 402, you are not authorized to see this resource. It is showing I am sending cookie. Yeah, here I am sending the cookie with this authorization access token, um, but it is showing me 402 because it is another user details. Let me try to search that where I can see 401 details. See, since I have already sent one response, it is not showing me again. Let me come from the first of all. Slash user details. I'm able to see my details. So db dot collection users response is sending already my details. Am I getting any error? Where I'm sending headers? I will find one user ID number is error and run server else. Yeah, I'm getting some error, but uh, you can able to see it, right? Uh, you can.
can only able to see your data suppose if you are entering another data you are getting you are not authorized to see this resource so this is how i fixed it by adding a authorization check and uh, the another error that i am getting i need to resolve it that is related to setting up some response headers i will uh, resolve it uh, no problem but uh, you, you i hope you got this what authorization check i was added i am cross checking whether that uh, particular resource is belongs to that user or not then only i am giving response as part of fix thank you